Hey everyone, today is Sunday and I wanted to bring you some truth on this beautiful day. Um, did you guys know what the meaning of confession is? The Roman Catholic Church invented this thing of cleansing your soul by telling the priest, uh, another human being, that your most decret, uh, deepest secret. And um, yeah, they invented this not to just purify your soul, but they did this because they wanted to find out information about you. This was something that's not in the Bible. It is nowhere in the Bible about talking about confession and especially confessing to another human being, the priest, uh, the Pope. And the reason they invented this was because they wanted to know your most deepest secrets so they can know where the gold is. Literally, that's what it was. Um, there's been reports that they found about 150 miles um, underneath the Vatican uh, filled with gold and that's all the gold that's been stolen from the people I remember at the beginning of last year when all this was happening I told a friend of mine I said you know I think this is it I think this is you know revelations we're living it and I believe in the thousand years of peace that God promises at the end of revelations and it's uh, love peace and abundance and uh, I told this friend, I said, I think the worldwide currency is going to be gold. And he said, there's not enough gold in the world for everybody, you know, because this promise is for everybody, not just for me or for you, but the entire world. And um, he said, there's not enough gold. Well, there's enough gold, but it's all hidden underneath the Vatican. And again, confession is nowhere in the Bible, but they came up with it. Because why? Because they wanted to know where all your secrets were. They wanted to know where your money was, your currency, which was gold. And um, here's another fun fact about the gold. Not only did they want to keep all that for themselves, but the main reason why gold is so valuable is because it's not of this earth. Um, you know, religious people, or I wouldn't say religious, but spiritual people believe that the, uh, the gold came down with the heavens. Uh, it came down with the angels. Um, scientific people will believe that meteors uh, brought that element into the earth. Um, regardless, it comes from the sky. And um, uh, for, uh, for centuries, um, you got to remember that the opposite side always wanted to commun communicate with a higher being, with God. But God does not communicate with you if you're not living righteously. So they felt that by having all this gold that came from heaven, they would have a direct communication with God. And it was the complete opposite because they were taking it from his children, from his people. And so uh, now we have reports that it's something outrageous, like 54 quadrillion uh, in money. I can't even say that. I thought that, you know, the highest number for them was trillions, but no, it's quadrillions. So there's a lot of gold guys and please believe in the this is what people call it today it's the nasara law uh, nasara law is the same thing that is spoken in in the bible now you gotta remember the bible was uh, put together by king james which was a king that wanted to rule the world right whether he was good or bad or whatever he's the one that put this bible together and uh, the uh, new testament and you can only have access to the Bible in the past if you were a priest, if you were in the church. You couldn't just be a regular person to read the Bible because they don't want you to see the actual truth. They'll speak to you and they'll they'll have a mass, which you most of the time you don't even understand because it's a complete ritual when you walk into a Catholic church. It's like you go in, you get on your knees, you do a prayer. It's like everything's the same. It's not like you really hear the word of God because they literally give you like, not even a paragraph of what the word is which is in the bible they just go about their rituals again they don't want you to know the truth and so what i'm getting to is that uh, all of this has been just to manipulate um, and they've only given you the information that they want you to know so i'll give you an example so in revelations most people think especially Catholics. Oh, in Apocalypse, when it's the end of times, it's the end of times, because the Bible says it. The Bible says, and again, this is a translation of King James, 
it says I, God will be with you till the end of time. So that means there is an end. But in all reality, the true translation to that is God said, I will be with you through eons. Eons are different um, um, times that we're going into. It doesn't mean that there's an end. It's just a different time. So I'll give you an example what he, what this was meant to say. We are entering a different constellation. So yes, we're, we were in the end of Pisces and we were going into Aquarius. So even in the new times, God is going to be there. So don't think that's another main thing. Don't think that the world's going to end. It's just going to be a new world. And um, so I just wanted to come on here on this beautiful Sunday and just share that information because I know a lot of people are suffering and a lot of people are going through a lot of stuff and finances have a huge thing other than your health finances has been put over and over on us and um, you don't have to worry about that because I believe in the promise and you need to believe in the promise as well and God wants us abundant it's like when you your children you want your children to have everything well God wants us to have everything and I do believe all that's coming back to the people. And do your own research. And um, yeah, you know, look forward to the future because the future is very, very bright. I know it's hard to see right now with all the nonsense, all the cloudiness. But you know what? Get all that away. The sun is shining. And um, it's going to be a beautiful new time. We're really uh, very blessed to be in this time. Uh, that we're able to see from darkness to light because that's exactly what we're doing we've been living for centuries in the mud and now we are in the time of aquarius and it's going to be a bright 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 day so sending you guys a lot of love and god bless you Bye -bye.